Hey, hey, hey! The great Messiah, Mr. Roast Beef, is finally here to answer all of your life questions. There is a constant cancer growing in the world we live in, and its name equal pay is for a equal debate work. about pay gap. It's not that complicated. Hey, what's up, guys? It's you. Would you please stop the goddamn dramatic music, please, so I can do an intro? All right, I can work with this. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Infamous C. Oh, my. God, so good to say. I feel like I haven't said it in so long. It's been like a day. Today we're gonna be discussing the pay gap. So go ahead, go ahead, type your hate comment. Say mean words to me. I don't care, I'm still gonna say it because it's pre-recorded. You didn't know that, did you? Gotcha. When we're talking about gender pay gap, I think that most people are just too unintelligent to examine the world around them and realize that the people with the most pay are the most qualified for the job. In other words, let's say I'm picking pumpkins with some chick, right? And we're both making $8 an hour, bro. But I have, I, obviously I'm stronger than this chick most likely, right? So I can do more work than she can. Right, they're probably gonna give me more hours than they're gonna give her because I mean she's you know she's not as valuable. She's not as valuable as a person. But let's say like software engineering or something. I'm not saying you know women women can't do that kind of work. You know of course there's like I always say there's some fucking crazy ass female bodybuilders. But yeah, let's go back to software engineering. Let's say that there's a lady that, for example, knows five programming languages. She knows C, she knows C++, she knows C Sharp, she knows all of the languages, bro. And let's say I just know a markup language like HTML5. It's very unlikely that I'm going to get paid more than her. The thing about women in particular is, I mean, 50... 60 years ago women didn't even work you know it was always men that were going out and working don't get me wrong there were women that worked but most women did not fucking work as a result the standards are kind of raised for men because men are traditionally the breadwinners you know they're supposed to be making the making the cheats you know what i'm saying so as for men i i believe it's a much more competitive market i mean people people are trying to get scholarships left and right if you're a woman you could just marry into you know whatever so you as long as you're hot bro you're not you're not doomed you know what i mean you bring up the statistics of you know hispanics and blacks and black and hispanic women as well as these women and say you know they get paid 62 percent less well yeah because opportunity is really what it is i mean like me for example i get paid fucking nothing bro you know why because in my life i didn't have the same opportunity you know no one paid for me to go to college that sort of thing and as a result you know i'm i'm always broke I'm a fucking retard, you know? And I mean, how are you gonna come out of a community that is naturally, you know, lower, lower income and, you know, impoverished and then make, make something out of it? You'd have to be really someone to be able to do that. You know what I mean? I just think it's stupid that everyone brings up all these other things trying to, you know, solve the wage gap and debunk the wage gap but that's really what it comes down to it's not racist it's not sexist it's just the way things are and if anything it's sexist towards men sorry this video isn't so funny you know it's not like a comedic look on the whole thing i could have i could have come up here and been like oh they don't have enough hobbies you know but i just figured i'd be serious for once and let you guys know what it really comes down to i, I just straight shot that bitch straight shot bro hole in one thank you for watching i'm infamous c and i'm out